Hello, this is Larry Martin, a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today, as part of our beginner series, we're going to show you a couple of tricks that can help you as you're navigating through your CSM client and taking incidents or whatever within that client. Um, and these are the F6 and F7 functions. So, let's move over to an incident. We're going to go ahead and open an existing one. So we'll come over to the quick search. I'm just going to open, uh, look for all open incidents. And just grab one of these. Let's take this one. Now, different organizations do different things. For example, you see here I have a requester and an owned by. Some may have an alternate or uh, affected user, someone else that's interested in this incident, or any number of things. One of the things that happens while you're on an incident is maybe you need to go see more information about your requester. Perhaps you've got a flag on your customer records that indicates that they're a member of a team or that they have a special application within your organization and you haven't displayed that here on the incident screen or form, um, although you could do that. But one of the easiest ways to go take a look at that is instead of coming up to customer contact manager and going to find the record if you look here you'll see that current info F6 well as I'm on this incident my current requester is Molly so if I hit F6 it brings up Molly's record in a new window now this is very cool because I can look at Molly's information without ever leaving the incident obviously you could shift and left click to bring up uh, the contact manager but this brings us exactly to the record of the customer of the current incident. Um, again, if you were tracking things like you know special applications within your organization, or if they have special needs, or you know any number of things that you would be tracking on the customer record but not on the incident, this is a quick, easy way where you can go and check for that information wherever it may be on your form or in your form arrangement. And so. That's what F6 does for you. The other thing that we're going to look at, if you'll notice, Molly has a primary CI. Again, under customer, we have config items. So if we were to take and hit, um, I sped through that, config items, F7. While on that same incident, if you hit F7, then it'll bring up the config items for Molly based on the config item that's chosen. And you can pop into that config item and look at any special information for that. Now this did not open in a new window. It actually brought you out to um, a different screen. So you can just go back and you're back to your incident. Anyhow, these are a couple of quick shortcuts that you can use while you're navigating through filling out an incident and you want to check on something. It just gives you a quick way to get over to those records without having to uh, for example, go Tools, CMDB, Config Computer, Search for Molly. Uh, it just takes you straight to those records. I hope you found this uh, information useful. And again, uh, this is Larry Martin. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We produce videos every week for you. And have a great day. Thank you.